Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at pulling focus in virtual production using an Arduino. In this case, I'm using an Arduino Explora. This particular board is really handy for prototyping because it's an Arduino processor with a load of built-in controls. There's a joystick with a button. There's a set, set of gamepad buttons. There's even an accelerometer, so it can actually detect if it's being tilted or not. In particular, for this particular project, we're using this linear potentiometer. We're able to read the value of this as it slides from one side to the next. So we can use that value then to drive the focus of our cine camera in Unreal Engine. Now this could be any Arduino. Some of them are as small as this potentiometer itself. And the encoder could be rotary instead of linear. Adding a rotary encoder like that to the lens of a real-world camera means that the real-world camera lens could actually drive focus in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. In a previous video, I showed how you can get the Arduino plugin for Unreal Engine, and also how to recompile that plugin so that you can avoid errors like this from happening to your project every time you open it. Links in the description. In addition to the Arduino hardware, you're also going to need the software to program the Arduino. It's available free from arduino.cc. So we go to the software tab, choose downloads, and then find the download version that you'll need. In my case, that's the Windows app. And once that's installed, we're ready to roll. Here's what the Arduino software looks like once you have it up and running. This tool will not only let you write the code that you're going to run on the Arduino, but it also connects to the Arduino and compiles it and uploads it. So let's get started by connecting to my Explora. So I'm going to go to the Tools menu and make sure that the software realizes that I'm not connecting to an Arduino Uno, rather than I'm using an Arduino Explora. Also, I want to actually connect to that. I do have the Arduino physically connected to the USB port right now. So again, under the Tools menu, I want to choose the port that I'm connected to. I can see here that COM7 has an Arduino Explorer connected. We're going to need to remember that COM7 later on. All right, now we want to write the code. We start out with blank, but we could work from examples. One of the best examples to start with actually comes with the UE4 Arduino plugin. So let's go ahead and find that sample. Open up, and in the uh, path to my download of the UE4 Arduino, there is Arduino Types Example folder, and inside that is Arduino Types Example.ino. Even though this is a .ino file, it designates that really this is code for an Arduino. But actually, the format of this code is very much like C. Let's go ahead and look at what we're doing here in the code. There's really just two functions running here. The first is setup. This is going to be what happens on the Arduino board when it's first activated, first powered up. In this case, we set the serial port to a baud rate of 9600, and we also set a timeout of 5 milliseconds, so that basically if the Arduino hasn't heard anything on the serial port, it's just going to go check again every 5 milliseconds. So that is the setup. This is kind of the equivalent in Unreal Engine to event begin play. Next, we have the loop function. This is more akin to Unreal Engine's event tick. So this loop is just going to run over and over and over and again. And if we look at the commands that are in this sample, we start off with if, now exclamation point means not, so if not serial available, return. Basically, this is just looking to see, is there any data that's come in on the serial port since last loop? And if there isn't, eh, let's get out of here. We're all done. That's all we need to do. Next, we get past that because if there is indeed data available on the serial port, we're going to want to read that in. So we create a string variable, str, and we read that string that's waiting for us in the serial port, and we put it into that variable. Finally. There are a number of little if statements here that have been set up as an example. And these tie into an Unreal Engine example where the serial command being sent from Unreal Engine uses either the word float if it wants a float example back, uh, uses int if it wants an integer value to come back, and it uses the word lines if it likes some strings to come in. And so this is example code. Really, all we're going to need is the integer value. The value coming off of the potentiometer on the Explorer is an integer. It can be from 0 to 1,023. So what we'll want to do is avoid this first little bit of the command. We're not going to need that, so I'll just hit delete for that. 
And we're going to keep this little portion here with the integer because this is what we're going to model our code off of. I'm just going to delete the else because we didn't have a if statement before this. Let's just delete this a little bit further. And, you know, this is kind of like a little knock knock joke. This is, you know, is there serial available? Knock knock. Uh, if there is, it's read in the string. That's who's there. And then this if statement is basically checking that string to see who is there. And in this case, I'm going to use lowercase ue4. You could really put anything in here as long as when we get to the portion where we're doing the Unreal Engine code, we pass the exact same string to the serial port so that uh, basically prompts the Arduino to send us the current state of the slider. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll need to read, instead of taking this you know, static value, we want to actually read the value of the potentiometer. So how to do that? Well, there's examples for the Explora built into the Arduino editor. We just go to File, Explorer, Examples, and find, whoops, find the section for Explora. And in here, we'll just go to Beginners, and the LED show is one of the examples that actually does read from the slider. So let's just click on that and load up that code. We'll see at the beginning of the code, there is an include of the explorer.h. So this is what actually imports any explorer specific code, right? So this is explorer read joystick and explorer.read slider. So we're going to use this little bit of code, copy that, and put it into our example right here. Right click and paste it. So this will now be the code that reads the integer value from the read slider on the Explora and puts it into this long integer value. Final little bit is, of course, this code will only work if we include our Explora.h header. So let's select that, Control c copy, and paste that up here to the beginning of our script. All right, so now we include the Explorer. We set up our serial communications. We see if anything's available. If not, we just keep looping. If there is something available, we read it in, make sure that it's UE4 that's knocking on our door. And then we read the slider value, put it in this long integer, build a four byte message into our, a new variable called uh, buffer. And finally, serial write that buffer as four bytes out the serial port. And so this is what Unreal Engine will receive back from the Arduino. All right, this we're not going to need because we're never going to ask it for a string. Delete. And that is all of our code. So we can check it, make sure everything works. Looking pretty good. All right, everything's good. So now we can compile this and upload it to the Arduino. And we just click on this button to do that again. This will only work if we are indeed connected. So I've got instructions here that we are using the Arduino Explorer. The port is selected with the Explorer on it, COM7. With those two things and the code is good, we can go ahead and upload to the Explorer. We can watch the Explorer while this process happens. You'll see the read and processing lights start lighting up. And with that, the Explorer will reboot and begin running the new code. So at this point, it is ready to roll. It's waiting for information to come in through the serial port. So let's get to work on the Unreal Engine side to send commands and start getting data back from the Arduino. Here's a quick overview of our scene set up in Unreal Engine. Uh, the background scene itself, this is just the procedural nature pack available free from the Epic Marketplace. This character here is a free download from Mixamo, which comes with their mesh as well as the animation. And the wolf here, that comes from the Animal Variety Pack, which is also available free from the Epic Marketplace. Now, the Cine camera is already set up. It has a really wide aperture, a bit of a long lens, 85 millimeter, and we're set up in such a way that we get this dramatic depth of field effect if we're focusing on one character versus another. So right now, if we were to set our manual focus distance to 900, then we have the character in the back right in focus. And if we set this focus to 400, then we get the wolf in view and the background character is out of focus. 
Now we'll want the camera to be able to take over the viewport. So to do that, I'm just going to go to cinematics, add a level sequence, and we'll just put that at the base and leave it calling, uh, we'll call it new level sequence, save that. And with that, we'll just select the camera and add it to the sequencer. So right click, add actor to sequence and add cine camera actor. So this puts the camera in the level sequence, but more importantly, we get this camera cuts track which allows us to use this button here, lock viewport to camera cuts. We do that, now our viewport is looking directly through that camera, including its lensing. So again, if we uh, set our focal distance to 900 centimeters, well, we get the background character in focus. If we set this to 400 centimeters, we get that foreground wolf into view. All right, so that's the basic camera setup. We'll have to set up a blueprint to communicate with the Arduino and then actually adjust the focus during runtime. So let's go into blueprints and take a look at the level blueprint. A level blueprint is already set up and I'll just do a quick tour. Basically at the start play we have to open up a serial port. You'll see that's port 7 based on what we saw in the Arduino software. And we set up a baud rate of 9600 to match the setup function that we had at uh, time we uploaded the Arduino. Uh, assuming that's successful, we'll print out some messages and then set up a timer event to then execute the serial communications repeatedly with the Arduino. So there'll be a little bit of communications where we send a quick message, in this case UE4, I we'll probably want to change that to lowercase. And that message will go to the Arduino, we'll wait a little bit and then get an integer value back that will eventually feed into our camera focus values. The one other thing that's really important in this blueprint is that when we end play, we need to close that COM port so that we're nice and tidy and that next time we run that COM port is available to us. So that's what's going on here in end play. So that's an overview. Let's uh, select everything here, delete it, and in the next video we'll go step by step on how to build that from scratch. Until next time, have fun!